All right, so this is a little different of a video. I'm gonna be coding some Python today. And we're gonna be scraping some data from my website. And that's basically going to be the gist of the video is how do you get information from a website programmatically that may not have an API. Um, that way you can get that data and do who knows what, whatever you wanna do with it. And I am on a Discord call with my videographer, Getter. He wants, basically he had this idea of he wanted this data for something. And so I thought, why not? If he wants me to code this up, let's make a video about it and share it. So Getter, do you want to say hi and talk about what website we are getting data from and why you want it? Hey guys, this is CubeTutor. It's a Magic the Gathering site. And it has a cool feature that I'd like to take advantage of. Um, and it shows popularity of cards. Um, so... That's really why I wanted to scrape Cube Tutor. Right. And you have a basically what's called a cube in Magic, and you want to improve your cube. So, to do that, you want to see what other cubes are using the most popular cards. Yes. All right. So, what page do you want to get information from? So, under the community tab, there's top cards by set. And from here, you just need to choose a set in the drop down and then hit go, and it gives you popularity data um, at the most popular cards in every set. So what are you wanting? Are you just wanting a long list of all these different uh, cards? So the cards are what's in, in the green links. I want each of the cards and the number to the right of them, which is the popularity. Okay, so we're going to format this in like name of card, comma, and then this, and just have a list of them. Or maybe we'll have it as a dictionary. We'll see. Um, all right. So first thing that when I'm dealing with, like, want to get information like this from a website, I'll check how they're actually getting the data um, and see if it's like an API call that's getting fired off. So to do that, I'll usually go into Inspector. And I'll head over to the Network tab. And usually this, this tab right here um, is the first thing that I'll check. These requests are usually API calls. So we'll go over here, try BR, go. And we can see one request was fired off when I did that. We can see the headers for the request here. If I scroll down to the bottom, the thing that I care about is the form data that we're sending, because this is basically what I'm sending to the API to get data back. So if we're gonna make a data, like this API call ourselves, not from the website, we're gonna need to know what to pass it. And it looks like set select has what we have here. So if I go to C13, for example, do another request, we see C13. So we're basically just gonna change what set select is and we're gonna be able to get uh, the information for all these cards. Because if we look at the preview, oh, this is kind of interesting. This is the JSON response from the API. It actually just has a bunch of HTML data and a string. So we are gonna have to parse this out when we call the API. But we can see it looks like it has all the card data in there. Okay, so first thing that I wanna do is just try calling this API ourselves. So we can get a format request by copying this. Let's do BVD, copy, copy as fetch. And I can just run this in the console over here. So I'm gonna clear this, paste it, um, and so what you'll see here is we are making a fetch call to this URL and then it's passing all this data in. And this data is basically headers and looks like, um, oh, you know what? It's including credentials. So this is, it may be sending like a cookie as well. So that might mess things up. We'll have to see because we may have to send a cookie. So I'm gonna say fetch and we're gonna get the response here. And I'm going to say x.json dot then and console.log. So I'm just console.logging the JSON data here. And looks like we were able to make the request OK and get the response from the API. So basically what I want to try doing is running this from Python. So I'm going to put this in a comment up here. And before I attempt this though in Python, what I want to do is try this using curl. And the reason why I want to try this using curl 
is because if I'm able to run this from the command line, I'm not going to be sending any cookies up. So if I can request this without cookies, that would be ideal. And looks like I can. So we can see here's the response. Awesome. So that means we're good to go. All right, so pretty much like the top library for doing requests in Python is literally called requests. So we're going to import that. And all right, let's be good programmers. We'll say def main. Oh, not like that. There we go. And if do our main function call main. All right. So getter, why did I why did I do if main and call this main function here instead of just like putting my logic in the Python file? This allows you to import the file without running the code. So right now, if you were to import main.py, it would not run main. Yep. I just want to try a quick Google search. Curl to Python requests. There might be just like an online tool that converts the syntax over for us. Oh, perfect. See, I just thought of this way too late. Yeah, let's see this. Let's see this, boys. Well, I'm glad I spent time formatting this. <laughs> Next time. All right, BR. We're going to put this right here. And see, they actually used variables, unlike what you were doing before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, so I just saved it, right? And it just destroyed everything. Yeah, yeah. it just destroyed right. everything. Uh, that's pretty standard. All right, so let's give this another try. And bingo. We have actual JSON data back. Can you do this in uh, Python? I can't do that, right? I have to do it like this. Yeah, you can't, you have to. Uh... Man, there's just some things I miss about JavaScript when I. And I think you have to load it. You're right, because it's, it's probably it's a, a string, yeah. Actually, can you JSON do loads on the text. Is there like an r.json? That's not a thing. Yeah, no, it is a thing, right? Yeah. I think it might be a thing. What the heck? Oh, do I need to call it like that? Yeah, I did. All right, perfect. Oh, this is actually kind of like pretty printed for us. Not pretty printed, but prettier. All right. All right, so now we need to actually handle this mangle HTML and get some like sense out of it. We're going to do some beautiful soup for that. I think I have beautiful soup already installed on this. I always forget the syntax for it. Yeah, it's called BS4. I All have right, to remember so that. So let's do this. Um, my HTML doc is down here. Yeah, I think I'm going to just mash this into a single function. All right, so it's gonna be content. Feed the content in there, and let's just print. Let's just print soup. Can you just print the beautiful soup object like that? What happens? It's gonna. It's gonna look ugly. Nothing really changed. All right, so let's inspect. All right, so looks like it's called card preview. So we want to look up by class. I think we want to do find all. I want to say it's something like that. See if that works. Nope.
Maybe it's called class name. It's pretty deep in their docs. Find by class. All right, here we go. We're doing find. Find all title. Oh, that's what it is. I think I say class equals searching by CSS class. Yeah. Oh, it's look at that. It's class underscore. That's awkward. I forgot there's named arguments in Python. It's kind of nice. Or named parameters. All right. So that gave us some links back. All right, we don't need this anymore. Let's close that out. So now I, I think I actually, so that's gonna give us a bunch of these, but you said you also wanted the dash six six forty, so I think I should actually go up another level. No, I shouldn't. Oh my gosh, are you are you seeing the format of their HTML right now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get like the column, and then I'm gonna have to like iterate through the column for like the anchor tag, and then. This is going to be, I think we're going to do less grabbing by HTML and maybe just like plain text this. Anyway, let's grab columns. All right, so we're going to say for I, well, actually let's call it call. So we're just going to iterate through each column and I'm going to print the column just to make sure we're getting what I think we're getting. And I'm going to break after the first one so we don't just get a ton of output. Okay. So from this HTML, we want to get the values catastrophe 615 land tax 258. 258. Okay. I'm just going to say dot like, I think it's, I think it's like text or something that you can get the text of the document. Yeah, you can just do a pretty simple regular expression from here get text if you wanted, that's what if you called. wanted to go regular expression that's what i was going to say i think it may just be the prettiest if we say get text see how pretty this is now we can mm -hmm. just split by line and uh so first off we're going to get rid of the mythic yep i was just wanted to check and make sure there was a header on every one before we got rid of the first element every time you know what i mean mm -hmm. all right so we are going to say dot split by new line for line in. And then that's going to give us that, that, that. So if I you want to skip the first one, you can just put brackets. Yeah, you're right. One, I was going to do goal. that and I forgot like that, right? Yep. All right. So What's the best way to split this? Should I just split by, I think I should just split by space might be pretty easy. Let's see if what happens if I split by space. I, I don't think that's gonna work because there's spaces between cards sometimes. Sometimes? Oh, you're right, you're right. Well, no, what about this? We throw out the first and the second to last. I think that'll work. Yeah, and then you just like join the name, join yeah, and everything. So, all right, so here, here's what we're gonna do. So, I guess the best way to do this is let's first get the last item. So this is going to be called parts. Let's first get the the last part. Which what is that value? What what should I name this thing? It's like popularity or okay, occurrence. Popularity occurrence all right so we can get the last index with negative one that's something i wish was in javascript love i can just say negative one and then we're gonna say the name is equal to parts skip the first one skip the last two does that look right yes but you're gonna want to like maybe join them yeah if you want i just want to make sure that that gives them the, give them the right thing looks like it is and look, that's working for things like polluted mire, 
wall of heart looks like that's Ooh, can I remember the join syntax? Is that it? Yeah. But we want a space, it. right? Yep. All right, I didn't, I didn't even print anything. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say cards is our array. And I guess we'll just do an array of dictionaries. That seems fine. Append. See, this is where I would love to say a current's name coming from JavaScript, but instead I'm gonna have to do that. And that, and let's print our cards. All right, I think that's basically what we wanted, right? Yes, this'll do.